Folks, David here in the Vintage Future once again. It's been a while. Just had some things in my personal life that I needed to take care of, but I'm back, uh, at least for this video. Probably won't post quite as much moving forward, but hopefully from time to time I will. Anyways, these are my roll clubs after six months of pretty consistent wear. As you can see, they're a lot different. And even though in my first video on these, a lot of my initial impressions were impressions of dismay and being underwhelmed and being disappointed. Uh, I, have, I have a lot of things that are really, really positive to say about these. Still some negative things, and I still stand by my initial impressions, but I'll get into that later. Let's just jump into the details, and let's talk about some of the things I really love. So, first of all, this is a 1940 last. He's got the 2307 and the 1940 last. And this is the 1940. These are on his proprietary leather sole. As you can see here, it says Row Club, Los Angeles, California. I also live in California, so I think that's really cool. Not just made in America, but also made in my state. He put on these metal toe taps. And then it's got his proprietary top lift here. It says Roll Club. I think it's great. And those are wearing in pretty good. Obviously, I have some heel drag, but after six months of a lot of wear on something that has a really high heel, because I find that the higher the heel, the more you tend to drag your heel, because you know to get that to not drag, you have to lift your heel further. Um, that's actually not bad, and it's got a lot of wear to go. This is the full height Woodsman heel that he offers. This is Horsehide Chrome Excel. It starts out as a natural color, and then he does this hand-finished black over-dye on the top of it. Brass roller buckles. As far as sizing, it's all made to measure. So he takes your measurements and then he chooses a size for you from there. So can't really talk much about sizing like you normally would. Like, oh, it's a size 10 or whatever. He does have sizing numbers that he uses, but they really have nothing to do with what you might be used to for sizing. So I'm not going to talk about that. Just know that with Roll Club, you send in your measurements and then he makes them to your size. So first of all, just let me cover what I love about these boots. And then, as I said, I'll get into some of the more negatives. And while we do that, I'm going to switch to this other boot. So what do I love about the Roll Club Engineer boot? First of all, it is, to me, the best looking engineer boot out there. I just really love its vintage look even more than my clinch boots. So like, here's my clinch engineer. Not a bad boot. I think it's beautiful, but I just really love the roll club look and the roll club design. I think that is the perfect silhouette. I love how this toe box collapses. As you might remember, it started out very round and bulbous because the 1940 last is kind of more of a round toe. And now it's flattening out nicely, but not too much. Got some toe spring going on there. Very cool. I love the way that these shafts kind of bend and crease and fold. Great look. Uh, the clicking is so nice on both sides of the pair. I'll pull this one over here so you can see this as well. Like, look at that incredible clicking, especially for something like Chrome Excel. And overall, I think the over dye is really, really nice. And it's this nice, warm brown tone. It's not like too, well, so look at the clinch. The, on the clinch, it's more of a light color, you know, which isn't bad, but I really like this warm brown that you see peeking through on the roll club. Just very, very appealing. And the way that this strap over time has gotten all floppy and dangly, I think that's really, really cool. So yeah, that's great. And I think the shape of this last is really nice on the top down. So as you can see, the inner side of the foot is more or less going straight forward. So it's not pushing your big toe in and then it curves around nicely. I think it's a 
great middle of the road last. It's not quite super round, but it's not quite almond or pointy. I think from all angles, it's just a really nice shape, really nice silhouette, fits the foot really well. So yeah, anyways, that's the big thing is the appearance of this boot, I think is second to none for my personal taste. I hear some people, they put the, the clinch as number one, other people creosote, some people John Lofgren. I think it all just comes down to personal taste. All four of those companies and maybe like, I don't know, Motor or Unsung, some of the other ones are all up there pretty high, Attractions. So from there, I think quality is all roughly the same. And it just comes down to the preference of like the look that you like from there. So just to compare, we've got, the, uh, you can see the little Roll Club uh, logo there, that's cool. So that's the Roll Club. And then next to it, we've got, oh, they're not cooperating. Next to it, we've got the clinch. So clinch on the left, roll club on the right. Roughly similar in shape, but not quite, right? So, and it's a size 10 US clinch, by the way, in Merriam Horsebutt, whereas this roll club is in Chrome Excel. So those are some of the things I really love about these boots. Uh, what do I not care for so much? I do think the T-Core thing is a little hyped. Like it's, it's like, look at this. This is from my pant leg rubbing. It's very streaky, almost looks like a paintbrush. A little too theatrical, a little over the top for me. This is only six months of wear too. I don't know if it was just this batch, but I don't really like it. It doesn't look quite natural to me. It looks a little forced, a little artificial. Overall, I love the look and this does look natural this is from my other boots scuffing into it clearly I walk a bit sloppy the edge dressing on the side here is starting to wear away which looks really good and natural same with the side of this edge dressing so that's all cool and stuff but yeah some of these spots it just looks kind of fake you know almost like this formula is trying a little too hard this other boot is not quite the same it looks a little more natural, I think, but still, in some ways, it's like, man, that's really over the top. And this is only six months of wear. I don't like that. That's not like, yeah, I don't know. That's not quite the the vintage look that I signed up for. And if you if you just think about this for a second, you'll realize, man, uh, a year, two, three, four down the road, this boot will be predominantly brown. So I don't know. I don't think it's horrible, but you just should know that going into it. Um, the other thing is, as far as fit, initially they fit perfect, but maybe a little too perfect because once this instep stretched out and it wasn't holding my foot back into the boot, then my foot began to slide forward and then my big toe began to bump into the front here a bit. So not the end of the world. All I had to do was get some of these Padag insoles. This is a Padag Holiday. And now that problem is mostly solved. But on a made to measure boot, I would much prefer to not have that problem, you know? Um, another thing is, because my instep is so low, it's funny, uh, these straps, when I tighten them all the way before my low instep, they end up being super long, you know? I don't really care. But if you're the kind of person that doesn't like long straps, you might not like that. I kind of like the whole floppy strap look. And then see this here. Chrome XL might not be the greatest engineer boot leather for people who really need to use the strap. For most people, it's for looks. Like if you have a high end step, that's not really going to hold your foot in. So you just kind of strap it just so it's not dangling. But for me, I actually use it a little bit. And as you can see, this Chrome XL is just so soft, it's, it's slowly tearing. And I don't know that that's a good thing. Granted, 
easy to replace down the road if you had to, I think. I'm not a boot maker, but I, w I would imagine. But yeah, that's just some, some detail there. Uh, but yeah, if you look at the patina on this thing, it's great. I mean, the collar there. Even though this is a little bit streaky on the shaft, I still really like it. Again, that warm brown tone coming from the bottom, that is great. I'm, I'm sure that's by design, so that's like genius. Very good artistic design there on the part of Brian the Bootmaker, especially on the heels. I really love that brown as it comes through. But yeah, these boots are six months old. I wear my boots a little hard, but still, they're six months old and they, it, they look like they're a few years old already and you know a lot of the criticisms i had up front i'll have to say they don't really matter you know so like even though by principle you should really make sure the screws are seated well and some of them were not seated well on this toe plate when i first got these boots clearly it doesn't matter in the long run they all wear down so who cares right and then i had talked about on the back there was a little bit of crooked stitching but now that these boots are all kind of gnarly and worn again you really don't notice it same with the the carving the trimming of the top of this heel back here i was a little critical of that i still think my perceptions at the beginning were well founded you know at a boot of this caliber you really shouldn't be seeing those kinds of things but it does go to show that after some wear these things don't matter quite as much so, yeah, um, I just wanted to give you guys a realistic perspective. So I'll stand by the negative things I said at the beginning when I first got these boots. On the other hand, I think the idea is less to dissuade you from getting Roll Club and more to set your expectations realistically. Like, what can you expect from Roll Club? You can expect a fantastic guy with a great attitude who has an amazing design. This is the only one quite like it in the world, you know, so... That goes for something. But, you know, he's a one-man shop. He can only use so much. So you're not going to have this fantastic weight on you, hand and foot customer service experience. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. It's not his fault per se. It's just that's how it is for small shops. It's probably really hard to do business, um, worldwide business, when you're just a one small man shop. And inevitably, some pairs are going to be really perfect essentially and other pairs are going to leave something to be desired and mine was one of the pairs that left a little bit to be desired but overall i'm still really happy and i wear these all the time i would just say if you don't like your toes touching the front it seems like he does size on the smaller side i, I would explain to him up front in the notes on your order hey i really don't want my toes to touch so could you please add some length in the front for me because once these things stretch out, I really do not want my toes touching the front. You know, that might be something worth considering. But, man, other than that, this is really good. I, I could say that if I hadn't gotten this black over dye, if I got a different leather or a different finish, and we had been able to account for that sizing, I would have virtually no criticism of this boot at all because I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. And the vintage appeal, the vintage vibe and feeling that I get when I look at these, when I put them on, when I wear them, when I see myself in a picture wearing them, um, it, it's just out of this world. You know, wearing these with like my black sign Vocalion jeans or my Flathead 3005s leather jackets, my Grizzly jacket that's black and brown. I mean, man it's in the stratosphere it's untouchable and it's cool my grizzly jacket is these same two colors it's black and then the fur on it the shirling is like basically the same exact brown so as the t-core starts to show its face the matching between these boots and that jacket are uncanny it's just really incredible so yeah anyways that's my deal that's the Roll Club 1940 Engineer on a leather sole, metal toe plate, uh, full height shaft. I think he calls it an 11 inch shaft. And full height Woodsman heel. 
horse side chrome XL, hand finished black T core over die. And away we go. I, I expect these things to run strong for years to come. And overall, I'm very, very happy with them. So that's the deal. Thank you, Brian, the bootmaker. All the best to you. And um, I will say, Brian followed up with an email. He watched my initial YouTube video. And he was super humble and so full of grace and really understanding. And instead of being like defensive and, and mean about it, like, I can't believe you gave me a bad review. He was like, hey, that was really honest feedback. And I can really learn from this. And I, I'm really appreciative. And I'm going to try to make some changes to things. Uh, but I hope you like the boots, blah, blah, blah. So just so you know, um, he really is the genuine person that you see publicly online, like on YouTube and stuff. Um, and yeah, he didn't want to start a war or something like that. Instead, he was just a really amazing person about it. And so I think if he just continues to be a great person like that, it's going to continue to show in his product the way it has for the last several years. And things are going to get better and better and better. Because at the end of the day, it's not about having this technically perfect product, right? It's about having a genuine product, I'll say. An authentic product. That is a work of art. Where the, the thing becomes better than the sum of its parts. And I think you can honestly say that he's achieved that with this boot. And in my mind, this is his, his flagship model. Some would say it's his underdog, but to me, it's this engineer boot. If I could choose one engineer boot, despite any of my initial feelings of dismay and disappointment, I would choose this boot. Like if I could only have one engineer boot, I think it really would be this boot. Just know what you're getting into though. Um, know that things could be not quite the way you wanted them. All right, until next time, let your boots take you to places more important than the boots themselves.